All right. So right now I am in Phoenix, Arizona. Not oh, Phoenix. Ooh, I just messed that up all the way from the beginning. I am in Tucson, Arizona. And let's see if I can connect the Mimo app to this right now and have it work. So uh, we'll start off with this. Hopefully, let's see if we can connect and connect in. I don't know. I'm a minute already into this. I was going to do this as a live broadcast or whatnot, and chose not to do it as a live. I may still do this as a live. I don't know yet. All right. So the meme won't connect. So been having an issue. And I'll turn us around. There we go. So I've been having an issue so far with the yeah, Pocket 3 Mimo app. Um, one of the things that uh, I was having an issue is it will not connect to my phone. And sometimes it does. I've, I've downloaded the app. I've taken away the app, deleted the app, uploaded it, whatnot. I've done all that stuff. And it still doesn't work with the Mimo app. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. What I have learned is that if I have my VPN set, then it will not connect. So that's one of the things that I've actually learned. I have to have my VPN off. It has to connect to the Pocket 3. It does all this kind of stuff, but it doesn't. Anyway, so currently I am at the Eddy Hotel in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, it's actually, a, I'll say this, the uh, main reason why I'm on here right now is because when I was looking up this hotel, there was nothing on YouTube as far as reviews go, as far as anything really good that wasn't from the Eddie themselves, and even that was not, I don't know, it wasn't really a review, so to speak. So I'll give you a little backstory on this a little bit. Eddie Hotel, right now it is Christmas 2023. They opened up back in March, I think around March 8th or something around there, mid-March, beginning of March of this year. It is relatively a brand new hotel. First off, I'll say this, it's a, it's a beautiful hotel. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to check this hotel out is because as a photographer, uh, I used to do wedding photography and event photography. And a lot of times, this I will say this, this is a perfect hotel for a wedding and or event. Um, it's a small event, something like less than 50 people. Um, that's not a plug for them. That's just to say, just based on what I've seen so far, that is what would be really, really good. Now, a couple of things that I will say about this. Um, things that I have really liked about this hotel. It, it, you know, it is a new type hotel. It is clean. Um, you look at some of the videos that I would have posted or not. The, so let me go into that. One of the things I like about it. Pool closed at 11, but it's a heated hot tub, heated pool. Um, every night, like it's been 50, 40 something degrees, people have been out there in that hot tub, in the pool. So that's one of the things that's been really, really great about this hotel so far. The second thing about it is that on top of, um, they have some towels out there, they may be gone, they may have took the last set. Uh, they have a little cabana areas out there. It, it is, it, it's almost as if the pool is designed to be an oasis and the hotel is built around the pool. So that is kind of how this hotel is. There is a couple of convention rooms uh, or meeting ballrooms, whatever you want to call them. So I th that's why I said I think that it'd be a great spot. Uh, where I'm at on that is a huge, huge, huge outdoor patio over here. Um, if it goes over there, that's the bar, that bar, those doors open up and it lets the bar go inside and outside. And the same thing, like, like even this glass door behind me, I guess during the summer and during the fall, they can open up all these doors to make it an inside, indoor, outdoor property. There is no smoking at this property. And I think that is one of the things that uh, it comes down to you. That may be a no, like a us kill, so to speak. Uh, there is no smoking on the property, but there is the Cigar Emporium right down the street, not even a half mile away that you can smoke there, a pretty friendly crowd over there. Um, talked about the pool. The pool is the, the big thing, the oasis. Now, uh, one of the things that I'm not a big fan of, but I get it because we came on Christmas weekend, it is dead. I mean, it's absolutely dead. I don't know what it is about out here in Tucson. If nobody travels away, nobody travels too. But um, had uh, their breakfast setup or their meal setup, it is an a la carte setup. 
but there's nothing that's like actually sp there's no spread that is out there in the morning there's no juice or bagels or anything that's out there in the morning you have to actually go over there order something and then they'll make it for you and bring it through the kitchen is actually pretty good the chef chef logan i think it is pretty good so there's, there's no issue about the food or whatnot it's just that the convenience of the food and there's you know some people are visual eaters bar is pretty good it's pretty decently stocked bar i can't really say it's a full bar even though they may say it's a full bar um, can't make me a grasshopper then it's not a full bar but it's a, it has all the main hitters you want great beers great beer selection um nice bartenders friendly staff and i'll say this the number one thing about this hotel so far has been the staff is very 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 friendly um, I've not had any, any issues with any of the staff. We, the first night we were here, we did have an issue with the room, like the door wouldn't close or whatnot. Um, they offered to upgrade us to a room, but the room, because since there's three of us traveling, the room wouldn't have made because they're king size rooms. So let me go into that. So the king size rooms. Um, the king size rooms are not they're beautiful. So like right above me is like one of the king size rooms. Huge patios, nice king size bed, has a nice uh, couch that's in there, but it's not a pull-out couch. It's not just an L-shaped sectional couch. A small person can sleep on the couch, but it's not a second bed. So it's not necessarily designed for it to be very, very family friendly. I think if you are traveling with older teenagers or older children that could be in the room by themselves, get a second room for them, a king size for you, and that's great. To my knowledge, and I asked, there are no connecting rooms, so you can't just expand a room. That would be nice if they could, but it's not not that. Um, the food, the bar, the service is all good. Even when, and, and this is not a fault of them because their maintenance staff has been absolutely responsive and exceptional, so it's not a big fault of their type thing. Uh, their issues is, the, the big issue was that, you know, in less than eight months, there are a lot of things that are craftsmanship, especially for a hotel that's beautiful, that I think they need to go back to whoever the builder was or whatnot, to the developer. The, they need to go back and have them really do because the doors, the, they, the, the bathrooms have barn doors, sliding barn doors, and those sliding barn doors are falling apart, right? Like, like the bolts that hold them in are into the drywall, but not necessarily into the studs, so they're with the weight and move, they're falling apart. And I thought it was just the way that the doors were made, but when we went to go upstairs to the king size rooms, that door slid like butter. So I would say this uh, as a diamond, um, you do get a $30 a day credit. That's a very useful credit, I will say that. But the breakfast is kind of pricey, so the breakfast will take up that 30. It, 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 it's not, uh, unless we did it wrong, it's not $30 per registered guest, I think it's per $30 per room. Um, it's not necessarily enough for two people to have like the free breakfasts and stuff like that you used to with the Hilton Diamond. That being said, things that I loved about this hotel, the service, the service, the service, two, location. Um, the location is right off of Campbell. It's, it, I'm a straight shot to downtown. It's really close to everywhere that you want to be at. I mean, great. And three, um, Hotel is still new cleanliness. It's still a very nice, beautiful views, beautiful location, the pool. It's just a nice hotel to be into. So those three things I love about it. Three things I'm not so uh, such a fan of. Um, one, I didn't say it already, but this is in the bathroom. The towels are stiff, 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 stiff. Like no fabric softener, no. And, and what, what trips me out is that the bed linens are great thread count. Beds are stiff, but the linens are great. And the, you know, oh, let me talk about the rooms. So the issue with the rooms are, beds are great and everything is, it, they come with a fridge, I love that, they come with the fridge. They have a nice space that if you were staying here for maybe a week or two weeks and you wanted to bring an air fryer or a, you probably can't do it, so I probably shouldn't say it, an induction flat top or whatever, you probably can get away with that, but it's not designed for that. There's no microwave inside the room. They have a very efficient microwave up front though. But it's not necessarily a space that I would want to work out of because when I said that, is this good for uh, people who are traveling or events? The rooms do not have desk space in there. So they're not, I mean, they have a small little table that you can sit over here, like about maybe that big, 
but they're not work desks. They're not tables that you're going to, as a photographer, that you're going to have, uh, you know, a uh, hard drive and, and camera set up and whatever set up to where you can upload or whatnot. They're not designed for that. So those are things that I think I didn't like about it. I didn't like that it's not designed for a long-term traveler. I did not like that the, the, the linens and stuff like that. And like I said, the bed is kind of stiff. Uh, pillows are nice, but the bed is stiff. The, the linens inside of there are not, you know, um, are, are they're just not very comfortable on the bathroom, right? The bathrooms could be better. Uh, and breakfast setup. I, I'm not a fan of the breakfast setup. I get it, just not a fan of it. Uh, those are three things that I mean, like, if that's what I'm nitpicking on. If I'm nitpicking on your, your actual towels, breakfast setup, and the fact that you don't have a work desk, if that's what I'm nitpicking on, then obviously this is a good property. Uh, give the property probably a three and a half out of five. Uh, but aspirational four star. So, you know, if I'm leaving my Yelp review, that's what I'm gonna call it as. And this is a property that I was by myself or if it was a couple's weekend, I would come back and revisit this property again. But if I'm going with a family, listen, like I said, about not even a quarter mile, maybe half a mile down the road, there's a home with suites, um, still another Hilton property, I would probably go there. So for that, that's my quick review. Um, I have another video that shows some of the stuff inside the rooms and the property and whatnot, but this is my quick review, or not so quick review, of the Hilton Tapestry Eddie Hotel in Tucson, Arizona. And with that, like a fat kid in dodgeball, I'm out.